All right, here is my two A gauges twisted and twined and twirled and taped so it won't untwine, untwirl, untwist. And it has two, which you can't see because I do not want them splitting. Could have just used one, but wanted to keep the power at, at its highest on which power that I'm gonna give it. But yeah, it has two uh, 150 amp fuses in, in this tape ball. <laughs> Did what I can. Got these off my brother. He had it in his his Jeep. He took it out so he wouldn't get ripped off from this guy that raised his Jeep for him. He got a three or four inch lift on it. Just raised it. And then he didn't want to get ripped off. So he took out this white wire that was in his vehicle. He was only running, um, I think it was a massive CW10. I don't know, it was an older version before my fiance is massive PW10 because it pounded pretty good. It was, I don't know, I liked it. He was also going to sell me that sub too, but just left it. And then out of nowhere he comes out with this blue A gauge and then tried out the A gauge and everyone's like, yo man, you gotta upgrade that shit. I was like, alright. Well, I had another pair of A gauge laying around this blue one that I got off him. And then twined them together and then added the ends together, soldered them. Now it's running like 4 gauge or something. Uh, I think I got like 20 feet of that shit. 